Greetings, loved ones. Compliments of the new year, 2023. and Welcome to Perfectly Imperfect Me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, you are welcome. This is just going to be an updated chit chat. Get ready with me. So make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified on all of the uploads that I make. Hit the like button and let's get ready and started so a Welcome. lot has happened since the last upload as you can tell time has gone by a lot has been lost and a lot has been gained but everything was for our own good so let's get started on the first heading living in your own light living in your own light for me literally means being honest with myself being honest with my light and as much as being honest with my light being honest with my darkness and i use the space the space being perfectly imperfect me to be honest and real with myself and accepting all my imperfections as perfect and in and imperfect as they are so i'm going to use the space to be transparent i'm going to use the space to be myself and really live in my light i literally learned that i had to look inward myself and do some introspection by that i mean that i had lost a lot and as much as i had gained a lot and sometimes that doesn't happen you learn that you only have yourself and when you only have yourself you learn about what makes you happy and what makes you upset you learn about the choices that you make and you learn to be brave in those choices this has been one of my most difficult times because i had to perform at the same time i was drowning in my sadness i was drowning in intoxication drowning in this intoxication rather the sadness i constantly had to intoxicate myself and make myself numb sometimes that doesn't work well, let me say most of the time it doesn't work because and i think this period had taught me so much about myself in as much as it had been one of the most painful times for me it was a joyous time for me because i was able to live with myself in such a long time i was able to cry by myself and laugh with myself and sometimes when we pray to god we ask him to clear our path for better things to come and when he removes those things we tend to cry and we forget that it was our prayer that had led us to this point it is our prayer that we needed in order for us to get clarity for ourselves and what really needs our attention i secured a bag on the queen which was the final season glory be to god for the first time I was able to play a villain it was one of the best characters i've ever played as it was completely different from who i am and from all the other characters that i've played it was really fun but also challenging because it's far from anything that i had ever done And shout out to Ferguson Films for believing in me to pull this off. It's during that time and this it's during that time that I was able to learn myself and cement myself in my work. Sometimes and I've learned that when you're not okay, it's important to it's okay rather to use your pain and to use your work to heal your pain for me that has helped me because i'm able to focus optimally i'm able to 
channel myself into my work and use all that energy that I'm feeling and bring it into my work. And during this time, I was able to make friends and go to events that I could only dream of because of this energy. Breakups sometimes don't necessarily mean the end of the road. Yes, it could be the end of the road for a relationship, but not for yourself. It is the start of a beautiful journey with yourself. For me, it meant the beginning of a whole new relationship with myself. As I didn't know myself this entire time, I didn't know the potentials that I had. I didn't know the, the impact that I would make. And I, rem- I, 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 I think and I recall times when I would be working and I'd have to split my energy into two. And when I have to split my energy into two, what happens? Your energy is confused. Your energy is neither here nor there. But because of this energy of anger and of of uncertainty, of sadness and fear, I was able to take all of that and just channel it into You can my definitely work. take that sadness and channel it into a body of work so that it helps somebody else. And in the interim, the Brave Ones came out for streaming on Netflix. This was what one beautiful time because I believe that this is also one of my best works by far i had a beautiful time playing a lead character which was my first time for netflix and during this time i was able to learn the business of acting to learn the business of what i do and what i want to make money in and I appreciate Netflix for this because I was I was able to do PR training. And what PR training does is it helped me focus in the fundamentals of my career. I was able to, I was taught rather to be able to handle interviews, appearances, how to know your peers and how to address your peers. I was able to find mentors in the industry. And by the grace of God, We are doing great things. And when you're doing great things, it's very easy for you to be feeling very overwhelmed, to be feeling motivated in the same breath while you're feeling overwhelmed. But what I was feeling were a lot of energies. So I'm very appreciative of all the things I was able to do. But I was also so tired and I felt so demotivated. And I believe that's one of the things that us actors don't really talk about is how we want so much work, but it can burn us out quite easily. And so what I found myself doing was starting to focus in on myself once again by changing up my diet, working out, having set body goals and drinking loads of water. What this was able to help me with was just to readjust what I wanted to see myself looking like. That meant, you know, readjusting my body goals. And by doing this, it helped me to heal or rather deal with my heartbreak and fall in love with myself. And when you fall in love with yourself, you are able to be selfish with yourself and set boundaries that help you protect yourself against any negativity. And even when negativity does strike, you know what to do. So in the new year, and as it is the new year, it's been really great and it's been really fun. 
and I've been learning a lot of things about myself and one of the many things that I have learned is how to also lessen my intake on alcohol and other substances and as it is a new year it has been really good so far because I'm able to set a rhythm for myself so something new that we're planning to do my skincare I used to have an elaborate skincare method where I would layer on a hundred and thousands of things but now I've found that with age and with the amount of things that I need to do I don't need that much so I think this also stems from my constant need to balance out my dryness as well as my oiliness so I'm a combination skin girl and what that means is I have a oily t-zone and a very dry u-zone so I constantly battle between trying to make sure that everything is catered for and how I do that is I try and include a lot of hydration, a lot of ingredients that provide hydration for my skin. Whilst it also combats all the dryness. So that means that my skin is well taken care of. And I'm very thankful for the fact that I have been a skincare enthusiast and I think the fact that I've taken such great care of my skin from a very early age, it has helped me to maintain my skin. So right now, all I'm trying to do with all these skincare products is to maintain. I feel I don't need as much as I usually did and I don't need to do as much anymore. But all I need to do is just self-regulate and maintain all that I've been doing over the years. So that's my skincare, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are taking care of yourself. That you love yourself as perfect and imperfect as you are. And till next time, goodbye. Before I forget, let's lock in all that moisture with some DCT. How dare we forget some DCT. Mm. Let me know how you feel about this new format, yeah? I'm just trying out a couple of things. Copyrights have been the pits, but we're trying to make it work. And as a result, we had to just strip away all of the music. Otherwise, mudimukista. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye.